I gotta ask you, because uh, one of the stories we're doing is great moments in the World Series history. And certainly you're catching the 1961 series. You've probably been asked this a hundred times, but could you uh, just talk about it a little bit? And how, well, first of all, I'm kind of counting on the Mets not to win this World Series because then they won't show my catch anymore. <laughs> I'm kind of living off that 1969 for the last 16 years. So when they win another championship, they'll start playing uh, that World Series. But uh, truthfully, you know, uh, it's something that really has followed me in my life, and I've uh, been very successful after the World, just now World Series. And, uh, you know, it's just been great. You know, people ask me, like you say, a hundred times. And you know, I tell them the same thing. It's uh, it's one of those times where you know you you never expect it to happen. You know, but it's in the World Series because in the World Series, you know, it becomes like a superstar kind of a catch. And of course, I, I I enjoy it. Yes. What was going through your mind? <laughs> Did you think you were going to be able to catch that shit? Well, no, not really. Especially the first one that I had to go to the uh, left center because I was playing directly on the, on the right side of left uh, second base. And that was a long way, you know. But you know, I was running. I kept running and running and running. Ball just hung up there, you know, hung up there for me, you know. And uh, once I got close to the fence, I started for the fence because I didn't want to run to the fence. And I'm fitting for the fence at the same time catching the ball. And everybody says that this guy can't be that good. <laughs> and they're right, but you know, just one of those incidents where you you got confidence in yourself. You know, you feel like. And sometimes I call like I catch anybody in the ball in the ballpark. You know, and that's one of the days.